we're going to be looking at is this question here for the PEP ability, right? So the question reads, it says, examine the multiplication table below. There are four shapes. We have a circle, we have a star, we have a triangle and a square in the table. Each shape represents a different single digit number. Use it to answer item 40. All right, so item 40 says, which number does the star represent? Now, if we get a question like this, what we want to do is firstly, fill out this entire table, right? Make an effort to fill out the table. And after filling out the table, then definitely we're going to see what the star actually represents, all right? So let us go through here um, in an attempt to fill out the table. Firstly, we, we are seeing where um, zero, or you could say a circle times a circle give us one, right? And that is how the multiplication table actually works. So if anything that multiply by itself to give you back one, it means that that thing is one. So we know now that this circle is one. One times one give us one right there, right? All right, let's go further. The next thing that I notice is that triangle times triangle give nine, right? Triangle times triangle give us nine right there. So we can look at that and ask ourselves, what multiply by itself to give nine? Dash times dash equal nine. Obviously, this is three. So then it means then that the triangle is a three. From this, we're able to fill out more things. This is a three. This is a three. So I'm filling out the table, right? So again, I could now look at this spot here and says, what multiply by three to give me 18? So I'm going to think. So let's look at it. Dash times three. The result is 18. Hmm. Well, this is six. So six times three is 18. So we're saying that the square is a six. So this is a six, this is a six. So my table has a lot of information. Now. What I'm gonna do now is the last thing. Let us observe this, right? Six times star give us 12. Six times star give us 12. Let us look, six times what would give us 12? Well. The answer has to be two, which means that the star is two. All right. Star is two. So we're going to go and look for that answer. And here is this answer. The star is two. Right? It says here, examining the mathematical sentence blue, there are five shapes. We're looking at something that looks like a sun, a lightning, a star, an arrow, and a prism. It says each shape represents its own unique number. So no th two, two numbers are alike here. Use the information to answer item 40. So you could see that item 40 would come in this type of thing here. All right, so we're going to use it to answer item 40. Here goes. All right, item 40. So now we're looking at sun plus lightning bolt plus sun equals star, 15 minus star equals an arrow. And arrow plus arrow, and that going to give me four. And star minus lightning give me a prism. When you look at this, the question says, which of the following is true? So we want to know which statement below is true, right? Now, there are a lot of things you could do. You could look at this and say, this is two plus two, that's give you four and stuff like that. But there is one simple thing here that I'm seeing that would have answered this question. Imagine that you look at this. Imagine that you take this out and bring it right there, which means that you're going to subtract it, right? So if you subtract it, it's no longer going to be here. But it's going to be subtracted from there. So let me put it here. Because in mathematics, whatever you do to one side, you do it to the other side. So it is now here. If we now take a look at this first line here and this line here, number four, you're seeing a certain 
relationship. Look, star minus lightning is equal to two suns, as well as star minus lightning is equal to a prism. With that information, I can say then that the two suns is the same thing as a prism because both of them would be a star minus lightning. Okay, so this statement here is true. A is true, right there. They are equal. Thank you for watching Delimax Concepts. Hope this made sense to you. See you next time.